Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll go with the one more program in Python that is finding of unique number. So first let us see what is the unique number and then we'll write the logic in Python. So unique number. So any number having unique digits, unique digits, right? Or no duplicate digits no duplicate digits is known as unique number right so example let us take an example so consider n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so here all are unique right the count of each and every digit is only one so there is no repetition of any digit so no repetition of any digit so 1 2 3 4 5 is unique number consider n is equal to 1 2 3 1 2 3 so here so 1 is having 2 2 times 1 is repeated 2 times 2 is repeated 2 times and 3 is repeated 2 times so that means there are duplicates right so there is repetition of digits 1 2 and 3 so 1 2 3 1 2 3 is not an unique number right hope you understood it should the, the, the digits should not be repeated right so now we'll write the logic and here the logic can be written in two ways one is by using the set function so first we'll find the length of string of n right so we'll convert the given number into a string so that we'll get the length then we will apply the set function set function of this particular string of n and again we need to find the length find the length right and these two must be equal right so after applying the uh, string format of number into a set a set function so that it will remove all the duplicates and the length should be equal for both these things so then we can simply say the number is a unique number but here i will let you know i mean i will let uh, i will explain the logic without using the set function so I'm not I'm not going to use the set function. So first of all, let us take the number n is equal to int of input and enter number, enter number, and now we'll find the individual digits and we'll append the individual digits into a list, right? So first we'll find out the digits. So in order to find the individual digits, we have to use the iteration and find the remainder is equal to remainder. Sorry n mod 10 so that we will get an individual digit and simply add that one so i will take a list l is equal to list function it's a list we will append each and every reminder so here the reminder is individual digit here the reminder is individual digit right so i will append this one so l dot append function of a reminder and we need to reduce the number of digits so first let, let let us take three digit number after this one we need to find the two digit number then one digit number so in order to reduce the digits n is equal to n floor division of 10 so that this will reduce the number reduce number of digits right now now if you print l if you print l so we'll get individual numbers i will i will take 1 2 3 4 5 so you can you can observe so 1 2 3 4 and a 5 so we have appended each and everything we have appended each and everything now we'll just find the count okay we'll iterate each and every element so element in l if we we will find the count so if if l dot count of element is greater than 1 so 
being a unique number the digit count should be only one so if there is a two occurrences automatically the count of that particular element will be greater than one if if the count is greater than one simply you can print simply you can print uh, let us uh, take one more uh, this one so x is equal to n now uh, we can display the x value because we are updating the n so that n will be changed so i am just uh, assigning the n value to one more variable x now here i am writing x is not unique number right otherwise after completion of all the iterations right else simply you can write a else so we can write a for with the else right so after the after successful completion of all the elements so if this is not executed then simply we can say x is unique number so if you execute here so 1 2 3 4 1234 here you can see all the digi digits are single right so only once it was repeated so you can get 1 2 3 4 is a unique number if you find 1 2 3 1 so 1231 here you can find one is repeated two times so here the count will be greater than one so simply we'll get this answer see not a unique number okay so we are getting a multiple times okay we are getting the multiple times so you can simply uh, break here so once it was break automatically see 1231 so it's not a unique number so in the absence of break for every element it will check and it will print okay so that's why we we just give the break so whenever the break statement is executed automatically this else will not be executed because so the condition is not completed but irrespective to the uh, irrespective of the condition we are just breaking the condition okay breaking the loop so that's why else part will not be get executed right so 121 one is repeated so we'll get 121 is a not a unique number and if it is not repeated one two three it's a unique number so otherwise so if you are having a still confusion you can simply uh, use a flag okay flag is equal to zero and here instead of printing this one give the flag is equal to one and based upon the flag you can print here so if a uh, flag is equal to is equal to one so here you can print x is not unique number right and simply else part so based upon the flag we can display the result this is another way so 123 is a unique number and 121 is not a unique number right so a number which doesn't have the repeated digits is known as a unique number so hope you understood this uh, simple logic so this is this can also be implemented by using the set function right so i will i will give that example so input enter number so simply we can go with the length of sorry so uh, l1 is equal to a length of str of uh, n okay l2 is equal to so simply length of uh, set of str of n so simply we can write it if uh, l1 is equal to is equal to l2 so print n is a unique number otherwise else so in the false condition we can simply write it as n is not a unique number right so 123 is a unique number and 121 is not a unique number right so first we are uh, applying the string function so we are converting that number into a string function so that we can find the length in the second one l2 so we are applying the uh, we are changing the number into a string and we are applying it to the set so that if there are any duplicates it will be removed right so automatically if we are checking the length if there are no duplicates the length should be equal here even though you are applying to the set function the length should be equal so we can simply compare these two lengths so automatically we will get the 
result right based upon the th this result i mean this comparison we will we'll find whether it is a unique number or not a unique number so these are the two ways but so prefer this this one without choosing the uh, this uh, functions set functions and all these things so use this one because most of the co competitive coding examinations doesn't accept using the functions right and here we can use the count function so without using the count also we can do that so you can also try with that and you can find the uniqueness right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, unique number program feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much